Yo, and what is going on YouTube, and welcome back for another Oathbreaker deck tech. Now, if you guys have been enjoying the Oathbreaker format, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you have not already. If you guys are interested in Magic Kids, the official charity of the Oathbreaker team, make sure to check out those links in the description down below. But guys, I tweeted out yesterday about a deck I was kind of really enjoying, and that's going to be our video for day today. That is Doretti, Igneous iconoclast paired with Koldotha Rebirth. Now, Doretti enters the battlefield for one black red with three loyalty and the following abilities. Now, his plus one creates a one one colorless construct construct artifact creature token with defender. His minus one, you can sacrifice an artifact to destroy target artifact or creature. His minus six ultimate ability, choose target artifact in a graveyard or artifact on the battlefield and create three tokens that are copies of it. Now, his signature spell, Koldotha Rebirth, for a red mana, uh, it's a sorcery. As an additional cast to cost Koldotha Rebirth, we sacrifice an artifact and put three 1-1 one, one red goblin creature tokens onto the battlefield. Now, if you recall, his plus one ability puts an 1-1 one, one colorless construct artifact creature onto the battlefield. We use this right after that, sacking that construct token to get three goblin creatures. Now, this deck is going to be all about the aristocrat style strategy. Um, you know, creating tokens, having them die, um, and one really, really strong payoff for that is Grave Pact. Uh, an enchantment for one triple black. Whenever a creature we control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, each other player sacrifices a creature. So, we're going to create tons of tokens Tokens. We're going to sacrifice them to tons of different stack outlets, and we are going to make sure that our opponents never get to have creatures on the battlefield. Now, how are we going to get all of these tokens? Now, we have Doretti and Koldotha Rebirth, but we also want to have things like Goblin Assault, uh, Bitter Blossom, Hortling Outburst, Cranko's Command. Uh, these are all going to put you know, uh, consistent tokens into play. These kind of just one-time shots, but they're gonna just put goblin creatures onto the battlefield so we have creatures to sacrifice. Now, Zolaport Cutthroat and the Blood Artist. These are very good cards. Uh, whenever a creature we control dies, uh, target opponent or each opponent is going to lose a life and we're going to gain a life. These are very, very consistent cards and artifact or aristocrat strategies uh, and they're gonna be great for this deck. Now, Mayhem Devil, uh, whenever a player sacrifices a permanent, Mayhem Devil deals one damage to any target. Now, this is going to trigger for each of our opponents and ourselves when Grave Pack tri uh, you know, triggers. So we're going to get tons of damage off of the Mayhem Devil. Plague Crafter, this is going to force our opponents to sacrifice uh, creatures or planeswalkers. Priests of Forgotten Gods is a good way to sacrifice our creatures to either get additional mana um, or draw cards. The Sadistic Hypnotist is a great way to sacrifice a creature uh, and to, to draw cards. Uh, you know, it's really important that we just turn through our deck, find Grave Pack and our other outlets, and make sure we get this deck kind of going. Uh, Goblin Bombardment is another way to sacrifice our tokens uh, to deal combat or damage to creatures and players. Viscera Seer is a very, very common sacrifice outlet. It allows us to scry before we draw off some of our other triggers whenever a creature dies, we get to draw. Uh, Vampire Hexmage, this is a good sacrifice creature. We just sacrifice the Hexmage and remove all of the counters from our opponent's Planeswalkers. Worm Coil Engine, this is just a awesome card in this deck. It is great on the board. It is great in the graveyard. If we can ultimate to ready, we can create three worm coil engine uh, tokens and then get the additional tokens when it dies. Uh, life link is actually amazing in this deck since we are going to pay life to create things like the bitter blossom or draw cards. Legion war boss, another creature that at the beginning of combat, we get to create one, one red uh, goblin creature tokens. Uh, Pia and Kieran Nalar, we're going to get the thopter tokens when it enters the battlefield. We can also sacrifice artifacts to deal two damage to any target. Loyal Apprentice, we're going to get one one colorless Thopter tokens on our combat if we control the ready. Uh, the Ophiomancer on our upkeep, we don't control a snake. We get to put a one one death touch snake onto the battlefield. Skurzdag High Priest. Now this is a really interest one. interesting one. Sorry, we get to sacrifice one of our creatures, tap the, skirt, the High Priest, and tap two untapped creatures, and we can put a 5-5 five, five Black Demon creature token with flying onto the battlefield. This is a very good card, uh, you know, and it's not bad having a 5-5 five, five flying demon. Siege Gang Commander, you know, we're going to get those 
Enter the battlefield, 1-1 one, one, Goblin Tokens. Faithless Looting is just a way for us to kind of turn through our deck. Uh, Judith. Judith the Scourge Deep, a great card. Other creatures we control get plus one, plus zero. Whenever a non-token creature we control dies, we get to deal one damage here. You know, we're really not too worried about the, you know, the second ability, but giving our tokens all plus one, plus zero is a good way to just kind of attack face if we need to do that. Perforos. Perforos is a great way to just deal damage to our opponents. We have all these tokens coming in all the time. You know, every time a creature enters the battlefield under our control, we get to deal two damage to each opponent now damnation damnation is really good in this deck uh, and it can be very powerful if we have something like blood artist or the cutthroat out and we damnation and we have tons of tokens and we can just basically off one of our opponents that way uh, ingress rampage you know we're gonna force our opponents to either sacrifice a creature or planeswalker sometimes it's correct to target ourselves so then we can use the grave pack to have each opponent sacrifice a creature Terminate, Cast Down, Bedevil, and Doom Blade. That's really the package for removal in this deck. Now Skull Clamp is a very good way to attach it to our tokens and just get tons of card draw. Talisman of Indulgence is just really good mana rock. Same with Chromatic Lantern in this deck. I just want to make sure that the mana is fixed. Phyrexian Arena, this is a great way to just draw extra cards and lose life. You know, we're not too worried about our life with this total. We're going to try to keep our opponents down as quick as possible and painful quandary. This is a bit of a spicy addition. Uh, whenever an opponent casts a spell, that player loses five life or they discard a card. Now that's gonna be it for this Doretti Oathbreaker deck. If you guys are loving the Oathbreaker format, make sure to leave a comment down below on a deck you would like to see in the future. I do have a number of them that I work that I'm working on, and I also have the signature spell series that's kind of still pending. But guys, if you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys later.